I recently discovered the guide section of the Team Fortress 2 community page on Steam. It is interesting, to say the least. How to reflect on your own actions and realize you are in the wrong. <laughs> I wanted to know how to air blast properly, not how to achieve self-actualization. But this is the guides page, anything is possible. Alright, here's a guide called The Hacker More Dangerous of the World. And the guide itself is just a Wikipedia page of Gary McKinnon, who's a South African cricketer. <laughs> Team Fortress, your butt. Get wrecked. How beautiful you are is how ugly you are. <laughs> you guys probably don't know this, but this is a person holding a trash can. That is... That is not, in fact, a person holding a trash can. That is a bag. How are you able to sit on a chair? If this is supposed to be a joke, we are really hitting surrealism levels of comedy. How to not be like Prince Joker. This guy tells you how to not play TF2 like the guy named Prince Joker. So obviously the, the guy who wrote the article. Furries should die. <laughs> so wait, is this implying that he's a furry because then by dying you're not like him? Like, I think this backfired a little bit. How to get rich real one exclamation point exclamation point one exclamation point. You will get rich. Step one. Obtain amnesia, I guess. Some people, I just assume, speak English as a second language. Others, I assume, don't speak any first language and therefore can't have any second language either. How to be a Giga Chad and be respectable on a community server. This is an actual one from what I can tell. First, find a server you want to be at regularly. <laughs> if you want to make friends, it can't be a hit and run like my ex-girlfriend. I'm not gonna read all of this, but it basically boils down to be one-dimensional. So you have to troll? have a shtick, which I'm assuming, according to this guy, is like engineer gaming or something equally generic, and then just talk to people and be fun. How to earn money on Manco Store. Owning games with the possibility of hitting trading cards. You don't have to play them, just have them running in the background. You understand that, like, most of the games that actually have trading cards cost money, I don't think you're gonna make much money doing this. Nine times the scout should have gotten his driver's license removed. <laughs> Dang, scout really likes to do this exact same pose when driving. Now this article is actually a complete lie because there are only six pictures of why scout should have gotten his driver's license removed. I don't think they have driver's licenses in the Cthulhu universe, nor do they have it in the, uh, the Indiana Jones, uh, what is this? I don't freaking know, Indian universe. Nor do they have them in the Star Wars universe. This is why Steam needs quality filters on their guides. How to be the second Flav Flava, not even Flava Flav. Weapons, Force of Nature, Criticola, and Boston Basher. We... We might be remembering Flava Flav a bit differently here. Okay, here's one that I'm guessing is supposed to be serious. It's just called Characters, and then it says, Welcome to the General Text Directory. <laughs> My hopes aren't high, but maybe it'll have informative stuff. <laughs> Scout is a difficult character to play. You cannot use it in every game mode. The game modes you use slash it does not work. What kind of game mode is Checkpoints? <laughs> Payload wagon, it won't work if you're the red team. You hear that, competitive players? <laughs> Stop playing scout on payload defense. It can work in these mods. Payload race, freight wagon may work if you are on the blue team. Capturing the flag, ruler of the... <laughs> Ruler <laughs> of the what? Don't attack with soldiers instead of killing them, you kill yourself. You cannot use the Sodier character in only two game modes. Capturing the flag, ruler of the hill. But if you don't know how to jump rocket in the game, don't play it. You hear that? If you don't know how to jump rocket, just uninstall now. Don't even bother playing. Pyro, you can crush your enemies with the pyro. D. But the trouble called spy can drive you crazy. The pyro can also do the defense, no matter how much attack class it has. 
especially in these modes, you can madness your enemies. I think it works in that much mode. Unfortunately, it has lost a bit of importance because the Valve Pyron leaves its speed too slow. No matter how defensive the demo man was, he should have been added to the attack class. <laughs> and then the only advice is just play Demo Knight, <laughs> because apparently Demo Men setting sticky traps isn't defensive enough for this guy. Can't say much for the heavy spy blows you without a medic by you, excuse me, what? Even more coarse yellow dollar. This great man only does a defense work. You know, even the AI that I used had more coherent text than this. With the medic, you can heal one heavy under attack. <laughs> That's all you can do with him. You cannot attack alone, you will die in five seconds. Honestly, that might be giving medics a bit too much credit. Available in the following game modes. So, <laughs> I like how this implies, like, the other ones are suggesting that you should use them. This one implies that medic literally is not available to choose in the other ones. <laughs> I will not say anything about sniper. 90% of those who use this class are cheating. It can be used in any game mode. So wait, Soldier can only be used in two game modes, but Sniper can be used in all of them. <laughs> okay. And finally, the Spy. The human we call Spy can be invisible. The Engineer can spoil everything he builds and can stab characters in the back. It is the Pimp who <laughs> used it. So again, I don't mean to be mean to the ESL folks. This is probably closer to like an English seventh language. Honestly, this is Google translated. There's no way like a computer didn't write some of these words. And even ignoring the broken English, uh, some of the advice on here is just... <laughs> Remember, only you soldier on payload freight train mode. How to play as subclasses with the help of manco.store? What? This is the most blatant advertisement ever. Okay, so I guess it just teaches you how to play like really weird stand there and do nothing classes. Like, for instance, for the Observer, you're gonna need the shutter bug, the upgrade on the camera beard, all of this for $1.04 in the manco.store, which isn't really that expensive, really. <laughs> I don't think they're going to freak out if they see you. I think they're going to left-click on you and you're going to die. How to be funoy? Don't. So first, no knock-knock jokes and no yo mama jokes because yo mama jokes are not funny to not laugh. And also, don't be mean and don't and don't and don't be a teletrap ng because it's not funoy. Do spray the same image all the time with your friends and spam memes like apples, am I right? And also yell into your microphone. So according to this guy, Overusing jokes and mic spamming is the peak humor comedy, but then yo mama jokes, which is oddly specific, is like the one that's off limits. And then what's really sad is like sometimes actually good guys, which are like, they don't really teach you anything, but they're still kind of cool. They're just kind of buried in here. Like this one, which is like a little field guide to balloonicorns. It's kind of adorable. How to become a steward. Steward guide. How to become a steward. To become a steward, you put your name in the game to steward. Interesting. Here's a guy called 100% crit player stereotypes, which I'm guessing is referring to the 100% crit community servers. But, um, literally every single freaking class on here applies to every server, not just 100% crit server. I think there are toxic people and tryhards and campers on, like, every server. I don't think that, like, I don't think that's specific to times 10 crits. Here's a nice little existential one. How to not rage about a free-to-play that kills you. I know this happens a lot, so I, though of making a guild to not rage about them. Tip one, counting. Count to 10, I know it's cringe. <laughs> yeah, stupid idiots counting and doing math. Step two, think positive. <laughs> Step three, think of the past. <laughs> What? What is this, like, a guide for anime protagonists who, like, just can't get over their, like, friendships that they're remembering or something? Tip four, use your anger in a right way. Don't say things in chat like, you are bad because you don't have money. Instead, you should punch your bed 
write the guy's name on a piece of paper and pee on it. <laughs> What kind of psychopath is writing this? Oh wait, no, there's another step. Tip 5, exist that server. That sounds like a game show. Extra help, you can type a bunch of bad words with your keyboard in the chat, but don't send it. What's the point then? You can close your eyes and breath. Yes, that is cringe, but try it. I must be like, cringing eight hours a day whenever I sleep <laughs> if closing your eyes and breathing is cringe to this guy how to not be cringe and not be bad and suck a lot and gay so wait you're not bad and you're not cringe but you do suck a lot and are gay okay I'm listening what class s to p lay Obama. And finally, we're gonna end out the night with some big laughs by looking at the funny jokes to tell your TF2 pals book. My laughing bones are all warmed up, so we're- I I'm prepared to bust a gut. Why did a piece of chewing gum cross the road? The chicken stepped on it. What do you get when you cross a clown and a skunk? Laughing gas. Skunks don't shoot gas, it's like a liquid. What is Blue Tark Man's favorite music? Blues. We have hit like bone hurting juice levels of a joke on this one. Okay, then we have like these freaking text walls that if I told any of my friends this, I think they'd just hang up the call. All right, and then finally we have puns, which are the highest form of comedy. The two rabbits had such a hair-raisingly awesome adventure. Which two rabbits? What adventure are they going on? What the frick does that mean without any context? You really can't rally on ghosts on having good sportsmanship because they are such sore boozers. What the frick does that mean? I never knew guitars could be attractive intel. I saw one in a G string. Never trust Demo Man. He always blows things out of poor portion. Well, I may not be laughing externally, but I am dying on the inside in every way imaginable. Well, anyway, the Steam Guides are certainly something. Honestly, about 90% of them are either extremely low effort attempts at humor or people trying way too hard to be funny. There are probably Probably a good 5% that are actually attempts at solid guides, and then there's another 5% which just are strange, and those are the ones that I was trying to find, but feel free to go on the guides page and explore the autism yourselves. I definitely am not going to be the one to stop you, just be warned that um, brain cells just tend to not survive this place. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to see more of this type of thing, be sure to let me know as always. And have a good one.